I've changed my mind. I mean, Red, what was I thinking? You look beautiful, babe. Red rag to a ball? I'm not taking any chances, now. I'll wear one of the others. Can you unzip me? Oh, I've loved you in red. You need to calm down, you're gonna start getting me nervous. It's all gonna be cushed, it's just a formality. But what if it's not a formality? What if they don't accept instalments? You know, they dig their heels in and demand the full 60 grand now. What do we do then? They're smart people, they will accept instalments. Maybe red is best. I'll leave off. Oh, what are you lot doing here? Bit of moral support. Yeah, thought we'd sit here and send positive vibes through the ceiling. <laughs> you might be sending positive vibes through the ceiling, but I'm going to be on the landing listening through the keyhole. Actually, Mother, we thought you should sit in on a meeting. You do own 10% of the gaff. Yeah, it's only fair, but just leave the talking to Mick, yeah? Do you want me to distract them with my Sharon Stone thing? Because it's your lucky day, I'm not wearing any drawers. Ah. <sighs> Wait, get the door. Mother, keep your mouth and your legs closed. How do I look? Like a winner. Mm. Mm. Hello. Hi. An authentic East End boozer. <laughs> Am I right? You're not wrong. Mick Carr. Mick. Call me Hugo. And uh, which one of these beautiful ladies is Linda? Uh, I am. Pleasure. <laughs> and this is uh, my mother? Delightful. So, shall we go upstairs? Yeah. Mum, do you want to lead the way, or...? This way. Don't be nervous. We're on your side. No nerves here, girl. No nerves here. So, Hugo, just to recap on what I was saying, we're going to do a lot more promotions. You know, we're really going to pack the old, uh, Hunters, the old customers, in, um, especially over Christmas. The festive period. The festive period, yeah. And uh, we're just going to carry on learning from, uh, you know, the lovable fee. Um, babe, you wanna... if you want to have a little pipe, uh, have a little look at um, uh, projections that my boy printed off, um, you'll see that we anticipate that we will have an increase in uh, profits of about five to eight percent you know which means that we'll be able to pay you about five bags grand a uh, thousand a month which works out at sixty thousand over the year we do anticipate a bit of interest as well so uh, you give us 18 months it'll all be paid up see they've included interest as well well, a very thorough presentation, Mick, but I'm afraid the figures just don't add up. Well, uh, no, no, of course they do. Yeah, we've been over and over. Yeah, no, we can, uh, we can bring it in. <laughs> I'm sure you can, but that's really not the issue. Well, what is the issue? Shirley, Mick's pulling all the stops out here. You want 60 grand, you're getting 60 grand with a bit on top. What don't add up here? Mother, mother, no, no, it's all right. No, no, it's all right. I admire your forthright passion, Mrs. Garter. Miss! Well, it's a shame that no matter how many presentations and how many special events you have, this beautiful public house is never going to make the kind of profit it would if it were redeveloped. Redeveloped? Real estate is at a premium. Hold up a minute. You just want us out, don't you? <laughs> it's not a question of wanting you out. But as I understand it, you put yourselves in this predicament. But yes, if you can't raise the money in the next five weeks, I'm afraid you will be legally required to vacate the premises with no financial compensation. Well, he's got all his 